This is Reviewer03 bringing you a video where I finally settle a decade long debate regarding Brawly's and Deborah's strength. Ok, let's get right to the point. In order to calculate the strength of these two characters, we first have to calculate the strength of Gohan. So let's get started. Gohan's strength when he fought Cell as a Super Saiyan was at 100. This number is our reference point. Therefore, as a Super Saiyan 2, his strength would increase to 200. Since according to the Dites and Shu, a Super Saiyan 2 is two times stronger than an ordinary Super Saiyan. This would put a fully powered up Perfect Cell at 130 and Super Perfect Cell at 195, making him exactly one and a half times stronger than his previous version and only a little weaker than Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. The next thing we have to calculate is Gohan's strength as an adult. Now, we know that Teen Gohan was a lot stronger than Adult Gohan. Vegeta and Gohan himself confirmed this. Assuming Gohan got weaker by just 2% every year he didn't train, then his power 7 years after the Cell games would have been 85 as a Super Saiyan and 170 as a Super Saiyan 2. Since Dabora was pretty much equal in power to Gohan, then this would mean that Dabora was at 85 if Gohan was a Super Saiyan and at 170 if Gohan was a Super Saiyan 2. So if Gohan was just a Super Saiyan, this would make Dabora a lot weaker than Perfect Cell and even weaker than Teen Gohan as a Super Saiyan. If Gohan was a Super Saiyan 2, then Dabora would have been a lot stronger than Perfect Cell, but still a lot weaker than Super Perfect Cell or Teen Gohan as a Super Saiyan 2. Since it doesn't make any sense for Gohan to fight Dabora as a Super Saiyan if he could easily defeat him as a Super Saiyan 2, it's pretty clear that Dabora is at 170. Another point supporting this claim is Goku. When he transformed into a Super Saiyan in the fight against the Akon, Dabora was impressed by his power, but not worried. Since Goku's Super Saiyan by this point was stronger than Gohan's, this pretty much settles it. Gohan fought Dabora as a Super Saiyan 2. And now Brawly. In movie 10 Brawly was clearly superior to Gohan, yet Gohan still managed to land some good punches which clearly hurt Brawly. Thus the power difference was great, but not overwhelming. So if Gohan was an ordinary Super Saiyan, this would put Brawly somewhere around 110. If Gohan was a Super Saiyan 2, this would put Brawly at around 200. Since it is generally accepted that Brawly was stronger in Brawly's second coming than he was in movie 8, the first version would be impossible. Since it would mean that Brawly was equal to or weaker than Teen Gohan is a Super Saiyan. So here you have it. Dabora is stronger than Perfect Cell, but weaker than Super Perfect Cell. Brawly in movie 8 is somewhere around the level of Perfect Cell. And in movie 10 he's around the level of Teen Gohan as a Super Saiyan 2. And as for Bojack? No one cares about Bojack. He had no problems with Gohan as a Super Saiyan, but was dead after one hit from a Super Saiyan 2. Meaning that Bojack is weaker than Perfect Cell. 